Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Right, so I've got my scene loaded up with an object that has a principled shader applied to it. I'm in the shading tab and I'm going to enable viewport shading. Now for this first principled shader, we're going to increase the metallic to 0.5 and take everything else down to zero. We then need to duplicate that and pop it, um, let's say here change the base color to black increase the metallic to one specular to one and specular tint to 0.5 with the node wrangler add-on uh, installed i'm going to press ctrl shift and right click to mix those two principled shaders together with a factor of 0.93. Okay, so this is basically the oil, which is black and shiny. Now this is going to be the coating on top of it. So we need to add a color ramp. So press Shift A and search for color ramp. Pop that in here. We then need a hue and saturation node, which we're gonna pop in here. Plug the color ramp into the saturation node and the color from the saturation node into the base color. Increase all of these to their maximum. So that'll be a hue of one, saturation of two and value of two. On the color ramp, change the color mode to HSL and the color interpolation to far. Move this black one to 0.1 and change the color to red. So that's one, one, one. For the last one, move it to 0.9 and change the color to hue of 0.99, saturation and value of one. You should then get a full rainbow spanning that entire uh, what's it. Next up, a Voronoi texture to start muddying things up. Take the color from that and plug that into the color ramp. Change the feature output to smooth F1. The scale to 30. And the smoothness to 0.8. We'll deal with the randomness in a minute. Add in another color ramp. Take the color from there into the vector of the Voronoi texture. Leave everything as it is. Oh, actually, no. Change this to a sort of a light grey. Let's go with that for now. Next, we need a wave texture. Oops, not a wave length, a wave texture. The colour from that is going into the colour ramp. We're changing the wave profile to triangle, scale to 4, distortion to 35, detail of 2.5, detail scale of 4, roughness of 0.25, and phase offset of 1.4. And you can already see things happening here. Next up, we need a mapping node. And that's going to go into the vector of the wave texture. We need a texture coordinate. And we'll take the object from that into the vector of the mapping node. We need a value node that's going to go into the scale. And that's going to be 0.1. And then to deal with this randomness, we're going to add a noise texture. Let's 
pop it in here, take the factor from that into the randomness, and take the object texture coordinate into the vector of the noise texture. Set the scale to 0, detail to 5, roughness to 0.75. That is us pretty much done. So I'm going to send this to render. I'm using the cycles render engine with a thousand samples. Let's see what comes out. And there we have our basic oil slick texture. Now it's quite bright, um, which you can of course change with the factor on the hue saturation. So if you want a more subtle effect, you can change that there. You can of course also change various other things here as well to get slightly different variations on the color mixes and the color um, that appears in the oil slick. Anyway, I hope that's helped you achieve this particular look. If it has, please remember to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe for future content, and in the meantime, thanks for watching.